It'll create it. It's right there. The people in this room were the first to see the universe through the eyes of the James Webb Space Telescope, and they're delighted the rest of us can now see it too. We've been working on this for 20 years or more, and, and I trust the engineers who, who launched this into space and built everything. So I expected this to go well, <laughs> and, uh, and it has. You should be prepared to be wowed. This is a huge moment for the mission engineers. Webb is so big, fitting it on a rocket meant the six-ton telescope had to fold, then unfold itself once in space. That went without a hitch, and now it can get to work. This is the flight control room for the Webb Telescope, the only place on Earth with a direct link to the observatory that's currently orbiting the Earth all the way out beyond the moon. And on this monitor here, a real-time image of the telescope's view into the universe. Webb isn't just a better telescope, it can see things we've never seen before, planets beyond our solar system, and whether they have atmospheres like ours, the first stars that made the molecules of all life, and of course, how the universe came to be. Looking back from today on Earth, our sun was born about five billion years ago, but the universe itself made by the Big Bang some 13.8 billion years ago. While other telescopes have looked deep into space before, we still know next to nothing about this period, a billion years after the Big Bang. But Webb can reach that far by seeing infrared. The light from a star, for example, 12 billion years ago has taken so long getting to us, it's effectively been stretched by the expanding universe from visible wavelengths to infrared. Seeing that is the only way to image the most distant things in space. One of the most important tools for doing that is Webb's mid-infrared instrument. Its flight spare is in the UK, where it was built. The challenge for its designers, keeping it cold. If we don't have the instrument cold, all we're doing is detecting its surroundings. We need to get it colder than the, the temperature of the things we're trying to observe. It's just incredible to think that the real version of this is attached to the James Webb Space Telescope a million miles from Earth now, gathering that faintest light, giving us those first images of the oldest and most distant objects in the universe. These new images are just a first glimpse from the Webb Telescope. It's changed the way we see the cosmos, but over its anticipated 20-year lifetime, it will change the way we understand it too. Tom Clark, Sky News, Baltimore.